This video will explain the view of pandeism on the concept of the afterlife. As with many other questions of this nature, there is no single monolithic pandeistic view. But, every pandeist will have a conception based on a logical extrapolation of the evidence presented by our universe. Theistic views of an afterlife tend to be dichotomous, split into a pair of possibilities, an eternal reward or an eternal punishment. These conceptions reveal an inherent unfairness for even those guilty of finite, possibly minute runs, or punished infinitely, while those possibly bearing only slightly less guilt are rewarded infinitely. These conceptions reflect an irrational model of the deity, which cannot be taken seriously. Amongst the various models developed under the theory of pandeism, some propose that there's no afterlife at all, our creator simply destroyed itself in becoming our universe. But for those who believe the logical purpose of our creation was for our creator to learn through our experiences, it follows that our creator must exist after the end of our universe. For what use would it be for our creator to become our universe, but to be able to later contemplate the knowledge gained through that process? In this circumstance, it is logical to expect that our individual consciousnesses will be preserved within the mind of our Creator, and that we will share in the knowledge of our Creator. It is rational to suppose that, in sharing in the experience of our Creator, we will share in the experiences of other lives sustained within the experience of our Creator. Naturally, it follows that the person who inflicts misery on others in life would experience the very misery of his own victims. If an afterlife exists where our actions rebound upon us in this way, it would make sense to proceed with our lives as though every misery we exact upon another will someday be our own misery, and every joy that we bring to another will someday be our own joy.